Hi guys, my name is Francis, and I'm actually pretty new at Dog Tag Bakery. I've only been here for about two months. My job title is Storyteller, and that is, as you can see on my business card, and that is because I am tasked with collecting all the stories of Dog Tag Bakery, which leads from origin stories to what people are doing now with what they've been able to get through. And right now we're gonna share the story of Dog Tag with you. So, like what Bob said, Dog Tag was started with an idea that this man had. He was born one-armed and he wanted to become a priest above everything. For a really long time, he was a monk. His name was Rick Curry, but he was able to go directly to the Vatican, get himself ordained as a priest, even though they said it couldn't be done because you need two arms to hold, to hold the Bible. And he also decided that he wanted to work directly with veterans and with other people with service-connected with service -connected disabilities in order to help them figure out what they wanted to do next with their lives. So he got together with this woman, Connie Milstein. She was, in, she was an investor. She has a lot of real estate all over the country, especially on the East Coast. And they were able to create this idea that Bob was just talking about, Dog Tag Bakery. And so what is Dog Tag Bakery? It's a bakery, yes, like she said, open seven days a week, but upstairs, it's more than a bakery. It's a fellowship program, five months, full time, for post 9-11 veterans with service-connected disabilities, military spouses, and military caregivers from any era who want to figure out what they're doing next with their lives. And so we have things like Georgetown University professors coming in and teaching accelerated courses so that you end this program with a certificate in business administration that you can put directly on your resume, put it on your LinkedIn profile, mention it when you're talking to people about what you want to do next. But at the same time, we have you working on some sort of business plan. And you end the whole program with this capstone project where you figure out, what do I really want to do next? Do I want to work on a business? Do I want to focus on my own health and wellness? Do I want to focus on family? Do I want to go work for the government? We have all those possibilities in store for you because we are there for you Monday through Thursday, nine to four for these full five months. And we've got a current cohort fellow right now, Teresa Scholes, who's in it. And we've also got a recent alumnus, Deb Elliott. And they can talk to you about what their experience has been. And we can answer any questions you've got. Okay, me. Yeah. Um, Deb <laughs> Elliott. Um, I actually, I am a military spouse and caregiver. And um, so in 2011, we ended up here at Walter Reed and uh, my husband uh, medically boarded out because he was no longer fit for duty. And um, so I kind of fell into the caregiver role and I stayed there for quite a long time. And, um, and then I just kind of built up a network of other caregivers and started reaching out and figuring out what was out there and um, I came across through my caregiver network the dog tag bakery and at the time I thought it was only for actual um, military personnel then I learned it was opened up to male spouses and caregivers so I really really needed something for myself you know going down the caregiver role you lose yourself and you you know it's, it's like your entire life is you know in just swims in caregiving. You know, you are there, your only purpose, the mission is to caregive for your husband and, and you lose sight of yourself. And um, so it was really exciting for me when I um, applied and was accepted. And um, so it it really was life changing for me because I was just stuck. I my, Before he became ill, um, I had just graduated um, with a BS in biology and I was going to go be a math scientist and rock my career and all of this and, and that kind of was put on hold. Well, I can't just, you know, after 10 or so years, I can't just go back in, jump back into the biology field. And at that time, I really didn't know exactly, maybe my interest had changed some and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do exactly. So this program provided me an avenue to do that and to figure out, you know, where, what my strengths were now and um, what I wanted to do and um, so for me it really helped me just grow personally and professionally just in that realm so that 
you know, I had been uh, in the shadows for a really long time, and it's kind of just helped me to get back out there, to begin talking to adults again, um, start to, to feel comfortable in my own skin talking to someone about something that was different than uh, my husband's care, you know, because that was, that was, that was where I lived all day long, every day. And um, so it was a little scary at first, but um, the dog tag program, it really, they embrace you. They, it's, it's a family. You come together and it's a family. And they, they are there to help you along and to give you that hard push and, and, and to do it. And so I graduated. So yeah, yay, I did it. <laughs> and, um, so I really just, you know, before going to dog tag, I could not stand up here in front of a group of people. Mm -hmm. I would just like shut down. And, um, but I can do that now and, and I'm comfortable. And um, so it just confidence wise and just knowing and figuring out who you are and what you want to be, does, you know, whether you're a caregiver, whether you're a male spouse or whether you're a service member just transitioning and you're like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It, it, kind of, it allows you the space to figure that out. And um, so now I am the proud owner of Deborah Elliott Organizing LLC. Um, I was a little slow going. It's been a year. Um, doing great. Doing great. <laughs> um, so um, website is um, soon up and coming. Um, and you know, almost there. And uh, I've got my first paid client uh, booked up for next week. Yay! But you know, I mean, it's they give you all the tools and resources to go for what you want. They're not going to do it for you, but they're going to like they're going to lay it out for you. Everything is everything that they teach you is of value. There's no wasted time, there's no wasted space. It is a lot, but it, it gets to it, it allows you to get where you want to be. So, it's a great program. I love it. Um, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't come back and advocate for them. And you know, share with you guys anything i'd be like eh, I don't know. but no it's it's a great great space and uh i encourage you to at least check it out just google it see what it's all about it's good stuff and any questions after and i remember you in particular said you're sick of working for people and you want to oh, work yeah. for yourself yeah. so it's the place for entrepreneurs yeah, about 48 percent of our graduates start their own businesses about 30 percent go back to school um the other 17% are either focusing on their own health and wellness or um, working for in the public, public and private sector. Teresa, who's currently in the midst of it. And Hi, I'm Teresa. Well, I'm actually an alpha company. And um, I've had two uh, friends that actually completed the dog tag uh, fellowship prior to me. Um, and they encouraged me and I was like, I don't want to do that. I'm in pain every day. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to commute. I just did not want to do it. And so one of, um, well, the transition coordinator, uh, Destiny, and also Manny came to me and they were like, hey, this is for you. You need to just get it together. You can focus on doing it. Just apply. Just apply for it and see what happens. So I applied the very last day at the very last day. <laughs> And then I went through the first interview and I said I sucked and I emailed Manny and I was like I did not make it I'm sorry but I tried and so I get an email saying um, you're scheduled for the second interview and I'm like oh my god okay <laughs> so did that interview went to dog tag bakery that was my first time in the bakery and when they say amazing sweets I love sweets all types and I gained like 10 pounds in the first week. <laughs> so I had to fast no sweets for a while but when I tell you this is an opportunity that you do not want to miss period point blank my husband passed away unexpectedly two years ago I was dealing with grief I'm still dealing with grief I took a leave of absence from my um, dissertation for my PhD um, got hurt in a car accident, did not want to be in the WTB, felt like my career was over. So I was dealing with all that as well and then being in pain every day and then just dealing with whatever life brings. And I was just like, okay, let me get myself together because I have to keep living. That's the one thing, I have to keep living, I have to keep growing. So I went into dog tag with the mindset that, okay, I wanna give back to the community my husband and I grew up in 
that dealt with diabetes, whether it was type 1, type 2, pre-diabetes, whatever the case may be. That was my mentality to create a nonprofit in memory of my husband for that purpose. So I've been in dog tech two months and my thought process is still the same, but they give you so many resources to help guide you in the direction you truly want to go. And recently we went to the uh, 202 Creates yeah. and we had resources there that were speaking to all of us about what our choices were. What do we want to do? If we don't know what you want to do, just what you, what you think you want to do. So they were saying all this stuff and I'm like, God, is this what I want to do? Create a non create a profit for a nonprofit? Oh my God, this is not what I thought I was getting myself into. But I was like, you know what? Let me tell them my idea for what I thought. So after speaking with some people there, they're like, you know what, Teresa, you can create that nonprofit, but also how about you collaborate with an organization that's already doing what you're doing? Since I want to do just do this smart portion in Louisiana and affect this certain community of people. How about you do that? And so Claire, which is one of the individuals at Dog Tag, she was like, hey, Teresa, I have some friends that work with Volunteers of America. In fact, you're from Louisiana. What part? Shreveport. I have a friend. Her dad works in Shreveport, and she works in New Orleans. I had a conference call with them earlier this week. They're connecting me with more resources in Louisiana, in Shreveport, in the Caddo Parish that I want to work with. So they give you everything you need to succeed. Is it easy? No, but you can do it. You survived the army for however many years. <laughs> you can do this. And they give you everything you need, every single thing. The first week you go in for your orientation so you know exactly what's to come. The um, professors that come from Georgetown, they are amazing. The communications class, it was hard for me to get up and speak something that wasn't military jargon, military something, military focused. And so the first communication speak, uh, speech I had to give, it was to talk about my nonprofit. So this was the first this was the first opportunity I had to get up in front of a crowd and speak on my husband and what my nonprofit was going to be. And I broke down in like less than a minute and I walked out. But my cohort were family. We were family from that very first day. And not only did I feel okay with crying in front of them and breaking down, Professor Welch, she left the class, walked behind me and said, you know what? You did amazing because you got up there and you faced your fears and you spoke to them. And you know what, how about you put your story about Robert at the end of your speech because until you got to the point where you started to speak on his death and the unexpectedness of not being there and him being in Louisiana and you being here and you were doing just great. So those professors give you all that they have to make sure you know that you can do this. I mean, we've done finance classes, we've done um, communications classes, accounting classes, um, right now, we're doing entrepreneur, we're doing marketing. In fact, we just finished marketing. Um, it, was, it was just amazing because you get everything that they give their students at Georgetown, they give to you. And then we, we went to Georgetown to visit. We, have, we had a class there. We're going to have um, interviews and um, practices there for interview processes. So, um, yeah, just step out on faith. Believe in yourself because you've given the Army however many years. Now, put that same effort and energy back into yourself. Mm -hmm. 